Guys, Nick Keenan here with Pixelated Photo Booth, and I'm here to show you how to set up a truly at home DIY photo booth that you can set up in your own living room with minor electronics, probably stuff you already have. First we're going to talk about what you need. We suggest about 6 feet by 6 feet of open space. And first, you're going to need a table. And then you're going to need a monitor. Most monitors these days will work, but what you really need to make sure it has is an HDMI port. Then you're going to need a trusty old tripod. And the most important part is your digital camera. One of the features you want to make sure it has is the ability to take photographs in live view mode while displayed on the screen. One of the things you may not have at home, but it's a very cheap, very accessible piece to get, is your remote shutter release. So to recap, we've got your monitor. For this video, we're using a 26 inch Samsung HD monitor. You've got your tripod. Uh, for the video, we're using a Dynex. Uh, it's one of the most common tripods on the market. And we have the digital camera. Uh, we're using a Canon DSLR. It is the EOS Rebel T4i. Um, we suggest using any of the Rebel series. We've got the HDMI to mini HDMI for digital camera uh, cable. And last but not least, your remote shutter release. Ours is by ProMaster and is So here goes setup. Uh, first you're going to take the monitor and place it toward the front of the table in the center, uh, which should be about five to six feet off the wall. Then you're going to want to mount the camera onto the tripod at its lowest setting. And you're going to want to set it directly behind the monitor and you want to make sure that it's set up just high enough that the monitor is not going to get caught in the shot. Then what we're going to do is flip the camera on and go into the settings. Uh, all cameras might be a little bit different, but you're going to look for live view shoot and you want to make sure that it's set to enable and then you're gonna wanna go over and find where it says image review, and I like to set it at four seconds. You can uh, push the live view button. Usually on the Rebel series, it's this little camera button. And you should be able to see, there's our white wall right there. And there's Patrick. So the next step is to get everything plugged in. So you've got your power cord from your monitor. You've got your HDMI, which needs to run from the camera. Over to the monitor. I'm going to put it in HDMI in 2. So that way when I go to find the source, I know where it is. And then I've got my remote shutter release, which plugs in right here. And then we fire up the monitor, and in a second everything will be ready to go. All right, now that we have everything plugged in, we're going to have to make sure that our monitor is recognizing our camera. So we go over to source. Uh, some TVs it might be called input and you find the input where your camera is tied in. If you don't see it you can hit the live view button and it should ta-da! So there you have it guys. Once again I'm Nick Kina with Pixelated Photo Booth showing you how to set up your own DIY at home photo booth and now it's just time to have fun.
guys. Don't think we forgot about you. If you don't have some or any of the equipment that we used in the video today, we've provided links to everything below. And if you're looking for more tips, tricks, and life hacks, subscribe to our YouTube channel.